Hello there, Cannabeard Grows here. How you doing? How you doing? Um, today I bring you my potato experiment. Not really experiment, just uh, I guess growing attempt is a better, better term. Now something was happening lately. They were just starting to wilt. They were doing so good, like this up here. We're doing so good, so happy and vibrant, and then all of a sudden it all just started dying. And I couldn't figure out why. I'm like, I give it some water, I give it a bit more nutrients, just continued to die. And I'm like, oh my God. So I asked my mother, I was like, oh, what's wrong with my potatoes, mom? Because she was here. And she says, oh, they're just ready to harvest. When they die like this, or when they start to droop off, you know, it's time. There's potatoes ready. So, um, yeah, we're going to take a look and see if these things are dead or ready for harvest. So don't forget to like the video if you do enjoy it or you learn something or have an entertaining time or any of that kind of YouTube action and subscribe. There's also a whole bunch of links below to a bunch of random assorted good things. So is what we're going to do is we're going to dump these into this grate over this to uh, try to save some of the soil and separate the potatoes um, from the, well, the soil and stuff. So Let's, uh, let's move on over there and see what we can do. Okay, okay, so let's have a look here and see. Let's take the first one and, uh, oh, oh God, it's heavier than I wish it was. Let's have a look here. There's a little window, right? This looks like dirt. Is that a window too? Okay, well, let's just back on there. And, oh. Oh, I see potatoes. Yes, score. Look at that, that's a freaking potato, man. Yeah, that's a freaking straight up edible potato. There's another one. Oh my goodness, so we got two. Let's see how many we got in here. Oh, three, there's another one. Oh, it's a little tiny one. Oh my goodness, look how cute it is. It's so small. Probably even eat that thing. That's not bad. I'm gonna put that aside over here. Yeah, so there's another potato. Uh, oh, hey, that was probably one of the, yeah, I guarantee that was the um, the seed portion of the, ew, it was all slimy. The seed portion, it is too. I can see where it was attached there. That was the seed portion of the seed potato. So that's pretty good so far. We only put a, oh yeah, there we go. There's more. Hey, there's a whole bunch more over here. Oh man, it's like digging for gold, sort of. Except it's not gold, it's golden potatoes. Well, not a ton in here, but to be honest, I thought they were dead. So, not bad, not bad at all. Yeah, look at that. Here, I'm gonna turn the camera a little bit. Pardon me, pardon me, I didn't realize it wasn't. Uh, wasn't in frame very good. That's not bad from one bag. That's not bad. I mean, I didn't expect a lot, right? This is just for fun. So, oh. Let's see what bag number two brings. Oh, I see potatoes already. See, here we go. There's a potato right there. Another potato. Oh. More potatoes. It's just spouting potatoes everywhere. Ooh, these are gonna be nice little. Man, I'm impressed. Yay! Potatoes, potatoes, potatoes. We're gonna. Oh, I got some bug bomb in me. Oh, there we go. A whole bunch of little, little groupling ones. Mm. Yeah, not not a big harvest on this bag. Oh, there's another big one. Not bad, actually. Not too bad. Not too bad. Not too bad. Some potatoes anyway. Okay, okay. Last bag, last bag. This one's super light. This one's got no water. Oh, I can feel hardness. Ooh. Yeah, I feel potatoes in this one. Yeah, this one's gonna be a little bit better, I think. At least better than that last one. And because these are cloth bags, I can just uh, enzyme these puppies out, wash them out real good, and reuse them again. I'm not a big fan of the cloth pots, though, to be honest. Ooh, 
man, this is like, this is kind of fun. I kind of like digging for potatoes. This is interesting. It's like, it's like opening presents. You just don't know what's going to be inside. Is it going to be good? Bad? Did it do well? Yeah, not great. A lot of little ones in this one here so far. There was a couple of, oh, I spoke too soon. There's a couple of big ones. Here's another big one. That first bag, yeah, the first bag gave me the most, I think. Yeah, there's the there's the the seed chunk. Wow, a lot comes from just a little planting a little chunk into the that's all it was, man. It was just a little chunk. You let it dry out so that it's not wet anywhere, and then you just plant those puppies, plant those puppies in the soil and uh, 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 sorry, like flat side down, so the rounded side up, and uh, more potatoes will grow. And then you have this fun, sort of like gold digging for potatoes. So there we go. Had to wash them all up and stuff. Not an amazing haul, but at least a couple of meals worth of mashed potatoes or uh, some baked potatoes or, oh, I'll mix them into a curry or something. I don't know quite what I'm gonna do. We also got these, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna cook these things in something. But we just uh, harvested these two. Sorry about the terrible lighting in the backyard. Um, it's just a cool time of day. I got to do it when I can, man. It's been hot. Uh, anyway, we grew these two puppies. They're a little wilted because they've been sitting out in the sun all day. But uh, yeah, gardening, baby, gardening. Looking so good. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Now, before I go, I want to show you the progress on all my peppers. My peppers are looking amazing. And, and, and heck, I'll even show you my tomatoes real quick, too. Uh, uh, here, let's let's do that real quick. So these right here are my slowest growing peppers. They were also the latest in the season. They're starting to flower a little bit up at the top now. I don't expect great things out of these peppers. These are Thai dragons. They're just definitely behind the rest of the gang. Um, so here we got some witch sticks, which are looking pretty good, getting ready again. There's definitely a lot more flowers happening, a lot more buds. This one even has some peppers already going on. It's a pretty good sized ones even. And then we move over on into here. I, I don't know all of the names, so I'm just gonna move through them a little bit. These are some mildly spicy peppers. Um, these are, I don't quite remember what these were. These are some sort of a uh, spicy ones. Uh, I think these were cayennes right here. And then uh, over here, we got more, more type of large red cayennes that are not red yet, but look at the growth. We'll get some weird mutations. We got peppers growing out of peppers. Look at that weirdness just some happy organics right and then yeah over there just going crazy then right here the big one this is the uh, uh, uh what is it there the trinidad scorpion pepper Ooh, i'm excited for this puppy it's gonna i gotta be careful i gotta not touch that thing too much soon it might get might get hot on me um and then uh over here we got the uh uh, uh habaneros we got some green habaneros and some red habaneros over here. Also looking real good. And then uh, we got, these are some sweet red peppers, not red yet, obviously. Um, these are green peppers right here. Uh, these are some more sweet reds. These are gonna be big yellow bell peppers. Uh, I forget what kind of peppers these are. I think these are more greens. I got Roma. We got uh, some weird beefsteak something. Some jumbo something. I think these are more Romas right here. We got these really trippy purple. Your eyes are not deceiving you. That is very purple. I don't quite, uh, what does this one say? Black Beauties. Yeah, some interesting, interesting tomato breeds that are doing real well. So here we are in the garden. The last little refuge of what's growing on still. We got leeks and onions, a couple different kinds of carrots. We just harvested uh, uh, those uh, cabbages out of there. We got lots of herbs and a couple of flowers growing on in here. And then uh, the pumpkin patch that I put in the old compost pile is climbing up and around the tree and then coming down here. And it's just come along about 20 feet of, of uh, vine here. So I think we're hopefully going to get some pumpkins along here. That'd be super cool. We do have one pumpkin over here in this mess somewhere, but uh, right on, folks. Don't forget to like the video if you enjoyed it. 
subscribe, and uh, I'll see you soon. Hope you enjoy it. Have a good day. Thank you.